Veterans Reunion and civilian life face many challenges, including finding a job. Hi, I'm Monta Williams. Welcome to this edition of Military Makeover Operation Career. Today, inspirational stories of former servicemen and women who have reinvented themselves and are thriving at companies who value their unique skills. We begin at Pat Tillman Veterans Center at Arizona State University, home to over 16,000 military-connected learners enrolled at the number one university for innovation, global impact, and sustainability. The Pat Tillman Veterans Center at ASU is led by veterans whose mission is to create community among veteran-connected learners as they pursue their goal for earning a degree. I served in the Army National Guard for 21 years. I retired in 2012. I'm also a combat veteran. I served in Operation Iraqi Freedom 2006 to 2007. I graduated from Arizona State University in 2022 with my doctorates in psychology. And simultaneously, I was a part of the U.S. Army Reserves as a 68 Romeo, so a food inspection specialist. I served in the Marine Corps as a comm engineer for eight years active duty, two years in the reserves, and I spent one deployment overseas on the 13th Marine Expeditionary Unit. I'm in the Arizona Army National Guard. My military occupational specialty, 68 X-ray, it's behavioral health. It's a very small niche MOS, but uh, it's very rewarding. The Pat Tillman Veterans Center is a unit here at Arizona State University. We work as liaisons between ASU and the VA to make sure the GI Bill benefits get paid in a timely manner. We have about 17,200 military-connected learners that go to Arizona State University. Of those, about 7,000 or so are veterans, uh, 3,000 are active duty National Guard or Reserve, and then we have another 6,000, 7,000 dependents that go to ASU. For those who don't know, Pat Tillman obviously was um, an ASU student, so he was a Sun Devil. He served in Iraq in a deployment and then eventually served in Afghanistan, and unfortunately Pat lost his life. In, in Afghanistan. His family wanted to give back to ASU and uh, they really loved the fact that Pat was a great student. But they also said we'd love to give Pat's name to the Veterans Center here at ASU. I played football in high school and we used to have his quotes and his name posted up all over our weightlifting room. And I didn't realize like how important that was and how important that would become to my life until I did join the military and I realized that his legacy and his, his way of life touched more than I could ever imagine. Somebody like that is just someone you want to be like, and if you could just emulate a tenth or a hundredth of the person that he was, you were doing something right. One of the things that I truly appreciate about the directors and the staff members at the Pat Tumman Veterans Center is that they really give agency back to the students to be able to navigate these challenges or different processes of being a part of the reserves and a full-time student. So because we know the transition from military into higher education is difficult, we have a whole team that's dedicated to make sure that this holistic health happens. So are you struggling with post-traumatic stress? Are you struggling with this whole new culture shock that is the university coming out of the military? Are you struggling communicating? So that team really works to help advocate for student veterans and military students as a journey here at ASU. I appreciate the community, all the opportunities for professional development, networking with employers, student advocacy. It, it all makes a difference and it adds to the experience at ASU. From the staff to just the community that we have here from the students, everyone here just, it, we have each other's backs and everybody wants to ensure that everybody gets what they need. So as an online student, I felt the community more than I ever did at a previous college in person. 72% of our students attend online. You know, ASU currently just received a ranking of the, the number two best online undergraduate degree for veterans. Another aspect here at the PTVC is they really celebrate veteran voices. We don't base our success on who we exclude, but on who we include and how they succeed. Since being at ASU, I've felt um, very revived, and um, it's fun to be around other veterans and connect and kind of be your best self again. The Pat Tillman statue, it's a bronze statue. It was placed at the north end zone. Every home football game, 
our our football team files out of the north end zone and on each side of the statue they touch Pat's hand and uh, every home game he's remembered Pat Tillman's a hero in these parts uh, he gave up everything for his country he gave up his life I'm really glad to know that I I rest in his shadow and that statue is a reminder every time I walk across the stadium. I see it, I look at it, and I remember it. Welcome back. We're off to meet the team at 8x8 Inc., a leading business communication company headquartered in Northern California. Led by a former Army Ranger, 8x8 isn't just veteran friendly, it's veteran inspired. They've taken the core principles of military service, from teamwork to respect, bold action, accountability, and they've built a thriving company culture. This military inspiration has translated into real results, driving success for both their employees and their customers. My name is Samuel Wilson, and I'm the Chief Executive Officer of 8x8. I served from 1991 to 1995 in the United States Army. I was an ROTC grad, I was an armor officer, and I served mainly in CAV units. So the 11th ACR is primarily where I served. I started off my military career as an enlisted man in the National Guard for seven years. So I spent the initial part in the Air National Guard in satellite communications, and then I transitioned over to the Army National Guard as an infantryman. I served 22 years in the United States Army in various positions. I started out as a network switching systems operator maintainer. That is to say I was a switchboard operator in, uh, in 2000. Simultaneously, I attended University of Washington where I studied business and I commissioned out of the University of Washington Army ROTC program as a infantry officer. So I spent six years after that, active duty Army in the infantry, and then I transitioned over to Special Forces for six years as a Green Beret. And I finished off my time in the military, transitioning back to the Army National Guard, where I retired at 21 years as a 04 major. We went from analog to digital, and I became a joint network node operator in the 82nd Airborne Division. Uh, and from there, uh, I was done with my support time, so I went to Special Forces Selection. I became a Special Forces Medical Sergeant and Operations Sergeant in 3rd Special Forces Group. 8x8 is a business communications company. So we sell voice, video, and chat for employee collaboration, contact center, so your, your customers can call you and get to a contact center. We also sell things like chat bots and voice bots, workforce management, all those kinds of things. Basically a software company in Silicon Valley, and we sell to other businesses. 8x8's mission is to connect the world. So we sell the businesses so they can talk to their customers. We've been around for 37 years, I forget, depending on the day of the week. We've been public for 20 some years. We trade on the NASDAQ. We first started as a chip company many years ago, and today we're a business communications company. We're the 99th largest company in Silicon Valley. So around $750 million in revenue per year, and it feels like no year has ever been really easy. I found 8x8 through the relationships that I established in the military. Uh, you, you establish lifelong relationships based upon trust and accountability. And my buddy that I served with in the Army reached out to me, offered me an incredible opportunity, and that's why I'm at 8x8. Uh, I've been working here for two years, and the veteran community is very strong and very supportive. Uh, working with veterans and just having veterans around, they bring a, a culture of teamwork. I at 8x8 have expanded it out to say, we just see the power of military people. We have Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, all working at this company because military people bring a special skill set. I would say 8x8 is a perfect ground for transitioning veterans. It provides veterans an opportunity to really employ all the, the soft skills that are required throughout the military. And the list goes on from leadership to integrity to hard work, dedication. 
all the things that military service members represent. I will say today, I am where I am. I am here where I am because of the military. What the military has done for me, it's really given me the confidence to operate in the gray, to not have a standard operating procedure maybe it's never done before, be giving a task with clear guidance, a clear vision, so I understand what needs to be accomplished, what the outcome is. It is a family-like atmosphere here, uh, and it is that strong team bond. I'm just grateful for this opportunity um, uh, to work here because they really understand veterans and what veterans bring to the table. Coming out of uniform, what that means is you're a leader, you understand what hard work is, you value and appreciate people, and that is what is valued at 8x8. Number one, we understand you. We understand your experiences, where you've been, what you can do, what you can't do, and we're gonna help you make that transition. Number two is we're gonna value you. We're a veteran run place. We're gonna value your capabilities. And I wanna be clear, we're gonna try to give you a set of time and conditions and mentoring to make sure that that journey is successful. And the number one reason we're gonna do that is because you've served your country, you've done your duty, we, a business in this country, owes you a debt of gratitude for that. Founded in 1885, the Lansing Board of Water and Light has provided reliable utility services and been a community partner for decades. With a high veteran employee population, they are the utility of today that's transforming tomorrow. I'm Joanne Turner. I'm a Air Force veteran and I'm a software administrator here at the Board of Water and Light. My name's Tom Bale. I was in the Navy from 1992 to 1996. Here at the Blancing Board of Water and Light, I am the manager of TND. I manage the overhead power lines, the underground power lines, uh, traffic signals, street lights, stake and locate, and the tree trimming. The Lansing Board of Water and Light is a public utility, one of 40 in the state of Michigan. Uh, we are the largest public utility and we serve our customers electricity, water, chilled water and steam for the greater Lansing, Michigan area. We are moving towards a carbon neutrality program of carbon neutral by 2040, very aggressive goal. We are ahead of schedule on that and what it's done is allow us to transition from our coal plants, which are all retired now, to cleaner sources of energy as solar, wind, and we are also uh, getting ready to start construction on one of the largest battery storage uh, facilities in the state. Uh, so that when the wind isn't blowing or the sun's behind the cloud, which happens a lot here in Lansing, we can still supply reliable energy to our customers. My experience here at the BWL has been amazing. So there's a lot of growth, I feel, and a lot of challenges, which is something that I appreciate as well. You know, I feel, and they saw my military background and appreciated the fact that I did that. I believe the Board of Water and Light really takes care of their veterans. They have this amazing program every year for Veterans Day. They honor the veterans um, in the community. The Board of Water and Light is always looking for good talent. And when you put on your resume that you were trained and worked for the leading company in the world, the U.S. military, you moved to the head of the line in our application process. They are uh, a diverse organization, so it helps our DNI efforts. The military knows how teamwork should work. That's what we encourage here. Work ethic is just unbelievable when we bring our vets in here. I'm very proud to support any of the veteran initiatives that are out there. I can definitely continue my service to the community with a job like this. I mean, we serve power to the city of Lansing. I mean, it's a 24-7, doesn't matter what day of the year, power goes out, we're working, we're serving the community to get that power back on. So my advice to veterans that are transitioning out of the military into the civilian world is to get out of that box. Sometimes in the military, they can just put you down a path, a specific path, and because it's so familiar to you, you decide to stay on that path. My advice for them is to think broader than that. You know, look at the skills that you've learned through the military. If there's something else that you'd want to do, just for me, I was a pharmacy technician. 
Now I'm a software administrator. <laughs> Completely two different worlds, but I decided to broaden my horizons on that and see what else I could do outside of it. You never know what your full potential is unless you change out. Green Bay Packaging is a full-service nationwide manufacturer of custom corrugated packaging, folding cartons, and coated label products. Veterans bring top-notch skills and qualities they acquired and refined throughout their military career. So together, success is delivered, guaranteed. Take a look. My name is Ramon Vasquez. I served in the United States Marine Corps for just about eight years and two years in the National Guard. My name is Sergeant Adam Vasileski. I'm currently serving with the Wisconsin Army National Guard. I have 15 years of service, as well as six years of employment here at Green Bay Packaging. My name is Amber Kwasny. I have been with Green Bay Packaging since August of this year. I was in the Army. I joined in 2007. I did four years active and four years inactive research. My name is Troy Piontek. I was in the Navy. Uh, I was in the CBs, uh, ACB-1. It's an amphibious construction battalion. I was an assault boat coxswain. Right now, I am a West Trucker at Green Bay Packaging. I've been here over six years. Green Bay Packaging is a, a great company. It's a family-owned business, started uh, 90 years ago by, by George Cress, and then he turned it over to his son, Jim, and then Jim turned it over to his son, Will Cress, who's my boss, Will's the president and CEO. We have a real uh, style about us where we empower employees. We don't micromanage. George Cress had a theory. Hire good people, give them a vision, and get out of their way and let them do their job. And it's work. And his son, Jim, felt the same way. And then Will Kress, again, our current president and CEO, feels exactly the same way. Green Bay Packaging's primary business is corrugated shipping containers, so boxes, right? Uh, in addition to that, we also make pressure sensitive label stocks, so labels that you would put on uh, uh, water bottles, as an example, and folding carton, folding carton or cereal boxes, things like that. While I was uh, finishing up my associate's degree, I met a friend who worked for Green Bay Packaging for about 15 years. I was looking for my forever home. She introduced me to Green Bay Packaging, and I've been here ever since. I had to serve two activations in 2020 due to riot response and COVID response for polling, and they never once batted an eye. They just said, give me your paperwork and do what you gotta do. So they're really supportive of my military career. It was very much an ease of transition. They said, when can you be back? And it was never rushing me back. It was, when are you ready to come back? They're really accommodating for everything that I have to do. Green Bay Packaging has been spectacular, especially knowing all the veterans here, they gave us a beautiful box for Veterans Day with a beautiful jacket and a gift card in it. They always reach out to make sure, not even just the veterans, but everybody's doing well. They make sure that the morale's high on the floors. I love working here. There's hotlines that you can even call if you need to talk to somebody. I've never heard of that before having a company having that for the employees, which is amazing. So Green Bay Packaging has your back. If you're a veteran and you're looking for your forever home, your forever work home, Green Bay Packaging is a great place for you. Great to see that after sacrificing so much to the military service, today's veterans have found careers where they've been able to thrive. I'm Montel Williams. Thank you so much for joining us on this edition of Military Makeover Operation Career. We'll see you next time.